Um, so the lesson I'm going to teach today is a maths lesson with a focus on measure. Um, so the children will be um, using non-standard measure to measure footprints um, and I would like some of them to be using a ruler as well. The start of the week um, we discovered a mysterious egg in our classroom um, and today when the children came into school they found some footprints on the playground and a tooth. So the main input for the lesson will be the children um, measuring the length and the width of different footprints um, that we've found around the school. Um, and then when they go off to do their self-initiated activities, there'll be a range of different um, activities that focus on measure. Um, so they'll be exploring some bones in sand. Um, they'll be measuring some more footprints, but using different materials to measure. So lollipop sticks, little Lego bricks and paper clips. Um, and then when they work with me, they'll be looking at their own footprints and measuring their own footprints. Did anyone find the footprint Tech was after? He was after a footprint that was how many cubes <coughs> long? Twelve. Victor, 12. Put your hand on your head if your footprint was 12 cubes long. <gasps> Quite a few of you. Brilliant, well done, good measuring. Did anybody manage to measure the width of their footprint? So how wide your footprint was? Did anyone find that their footprint was 10 cubes wide. Jack? Yeah. Was yours 10 cubes wide? Yeah. Yeah, this one was 10. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And it was 10 because we wrote it down on our post-it note, didn't we? Yeah. Can I hold it up for them? You're going to add it on, go on then. Yeah. 10. Let's have a look. So, Jack and Leo, found that their footprint was t uh, 12 cubes long. Angel, Alex, you should have nothing in your hands. And Leo and Jack worked out. Now they did start measuring the width all the way down at the bottom here. And then we had to have a chat, didn't we boys, about how wide it was up here. And have a look what they did. Oh, it's alive. They measured from the two points on their claws right across. And Leo, you've just counted how many cubes? How many cubes here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So who has the claw, the, the print that we need? Jack and Leo. So I'm going to keep hold of this one because I'm going to have to send this one off to Tech because this is the one he needs. Right, I would like you to very quickly, on your countdown of ten, put everything into your basket. Ten. So we have to help Tech a little bit more today. Puffins, just pop it on the floor. Okay, so outside today, Miss Stanley, Maddie on your bottom, is going to be investigating those footprints, those muddy, sticky footprints a little bit more. She's going to be using some rulers, some longer rulers called meter sticks to measure the length of those footprints outside and perhaps the width, Miss Stanley. Inside today, we've got a special tray of sand and some interesting objects inside the sand for you to explore, discover, measure with perhaps cubes or rulers. Over here, we've got some little pots with some cotton buds, some Lego bricks, some lolly sticks for you to use to measure, as well as some rulers. Tech sent in a few more footprints he discovered, some larger ones, some more scary ones, I think, for you to explore. And on the carpet, I thought it might be quite fun, Maddie, if we got some welly boots out and if we used rulers, cubes, to measure how long the footprints are on a welly boot. OK. Who's got the longest one? Who's got the shortest one? Yours is a size 11. OK, maybe who's got the smallest one, Jack? OK, I'm going to be working with four children. OK, so if I call out your name, you're going to go to the hexagon table.